And we should make a few quick comments on quadrantal angles. A quadrantal angle is an angle whose terminal side lies along an axis. So, for example, a zero degree angle, or a 90 degree angle, or 180, or 270, or 360, or really any multiple of 90. All of those angles are right along the x or y axis. And from what you know about sine and cosine, you should be able to pretty easily determine the value of the sine and the cosine and the tangent of a quadrantal angle. So let's just look through them and do that. We'll start off here at zero degrees. This is a zero degree angle. And we want to look at the sine of a zero degree angle, the cosine of a zero degree angle, and the tangent of a zero degree angle. Well, this point right here is the point in question, the point 1 comma 0. So the sine is the y coordinate. The y coordinate right there is 0. And the cosine of this angle is the x coordinate of that point. The cosine is 1. And the tangent will always be the y divided by the x. So in this case, it's 0 divided by 1. So the tangent of 0 degrees is 0. And if you put those values in the calculator, they will show exactly that. The sine of 0 is 0. And you should see from this that it has to be. And the cosine of 0 is 1. And the tangent of 0, which will always be the y over the x, or the sine over the cosine, the tangent of 0 is 0. Okay, let's look at 90 degrees. If we rotate through 90 degrees, that puts us at this point. So we're up here on the unit circle. And let's think about the sine of a 90 degree angle, the cosine of a 90 degree angle, and the tangent of a 90 degree angle. Well, the sine is the y coordinate. That's 1. Right there, the y coordinate, the y value, how far up we are, is 1. And the cosine is the x coordinate. That's 0. And the tangent would be the y value divided by the x value. So that would be 1 over 0, and that's undefined. Okay, we can't divide by 0, so we say the tangent of 90 degrees is undefined. What is the value of the tangent ratio for a 90 degree angle? Well, it doesn't have one. There is no tangent ratio for a 90 degree angle. Okay, and then let's look at two, uh, or 180 degrees. Okay, if we rotate around, so this is our angle, starting here and rotating around to there. So we land at this point, which is the point negative 1, 0. The sine of a 180 degree angle is the y coordinate, which is 0 again. And the cosine of a 180 degree angle is the x coordinate, which is negative 1, negative 1. And the negative sign matters there. And then the tangent of 180 degrees is the y value divided by the x value. So that's 0 over negative 1, which is, of course, just 0. And then for a 270 degree angle, that puts us here at this point, 0 comma negative 1. The sine of a 270 degree angle will be the y coordinate of this point. And the y coordinate there is negative 1. And the cosine of a 270 degree angle is the x coordinate. And at 270 degrees, we're at an x coordinate of 0. And then the tangent of a 270 degree angle, again, it's y over x. So negative 1 over 0, again, it is undefined. Now, those are 12 little ideas that we went over. For a 0 degree, 90 degree, 180, and 270 degree angle, we just did the sine, the cosine, and tangent. So that's 12 numbers, or actually two of them were undefined, but 12 of those things, and you can memorize all 12 of those, but instead of memorizing them, it is better to simply understand that the sine is the y coordinate of the angle and the cosine is the x coordinate and you can get those values even without drawing a unit circle you could just picture one mentally in your mind and say okay at this angle the sine would be 1 or negative 1 or whatever it 
whatever it would be. So just learn the fact, what you should memorize is the fact that the sine is the y coordinate and the cosine is the x coordinate and that the tangent is y over x. Those three ideas will get you a lot farther in your study of mathematics than just trying to memorize all of these miscellaneous values. Instead, memorize the fundamental concepts from which those other values are derived.